The task starts now. Any question in the exam, please put your hand up and ask. No cheating is allowed. The listening task will begin in two minutes. The listening task for the ninth grade simulated exam for contemporary art six. There are three parts. Thirty-six credits in total. You can take notes first and come back to implement your answer after the audio has been played. Before the task begins, you have one minute now. To skip through all the questions. Part 1. Listen to four short dialogues and please select the best answer for the question from 1 to 4. Each dialogue will be repeated once more. Number 1. What are you doing, artisan? Why are you disappearing in March again? I'm practicing my teleport measures. Okay, I'm researching a series of ideas related to the pre-universe 
technological development and cosmic technological construction for my dissertation. So you are going to make an uh, arrow with that magic? Well, actually, the teleport magic is uh, just a way of transportation as well as our host uh, exam performance at the oncoming weekend. By using the magic, I will be able to have a long lay in the morning. What are you doing, Arisen? Why is this peering merge again? I'm practicing my teleport magic. Okay, I'm uh, researching a series of ideas related to the uh, pre universe technological development and the cosmic technological construction for my dissertation. So, you are going to make an arrow with that magic? Well, actually, the teleport magic is just a way of transportation as well as the uh, exam performance. At the oncoming weekend, by using the magic, I will be able to have a long day at the morning. Number two. If you're all right, no worries, darling. Though I have been lying on my bed for years because of the pandemic. What about the thousand deadline on coming next week for your art projects? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. That's really excited. Really? It seems that you are impersonating your emotions. Oh, no, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, you are so clever. In fact, I'm not sure as well whether I'm happy or not, as I'm quite a masochism. Oh, yeah, no problem, you're doing well. <coughs> if you're all right. No worries, darling, though I have been lying on my bed for years because of the pandemic. What about sudden deadline coming next week for your art projects? Oh, yeah, um, I'm quite happy with that. That's really excited. Really? It seems that you're impersonating your emotion. Oh, no, yeah, you know, yeah, uh, you're so clever. I mean, in fact, I'm not sure whether I'm happy or not. That's some quite a masochism. Oh, yeah, no problem. You're doing well. Number three. Hey, Artisan, why you stand on the street behaving as you have won the Turner Prize? Uh, haha, I'm now a traffic police officer as a part time job. So, you want to get uh, more inspiration by eating that, the turkey in the office canteen? Oh, not exactly. Um, I intend to make a narrative art in the end related to the experience of rescuing my 102 years old daughter from the national prison to document the whole process by the camera in my head. Oh, that sounds creepy. Why do you have to do this? Oh, I'm inspired by the by Mitchell Foucault's books and the idea of the punishment. I think when this whole process become artistic, my, my political critique can be strengthened to today's institution. But I have to be humble now as as I got to look within uh, like a predator. Well, good luck, man. You send me the artwork after you finish it, as I will curate for you. Mm. Hey, Abby Sam, why are you stand on the street behaving as if you have won the Turner Prize? Ha <laughs> ha, I'm now a traffic police officer as a part time job. So, you want to get more inspiration by eating the turkey in the office canteen? Not exactly, not exactly. I intend to have uh, to make a narrative art in the end related to the experience of rescuing my 102 years old daughter from the national prison to document the whole process with the camera in my head. Oh, that sounds quite creepy, huh? Why do you have to do this? Well, I'm inspired by Michel Foucault's books and idea of punishment. I think when this whole process becomes artistic, my political critique can be strengthened to today's institution. But I have to be humble now, able to lurk within like a predator. Good luck, man. Do you send me the artwork after you finish as I will curate it for you. Number four. Your study about is stroking RSM. Do not do that while we are curating. Oh, sorry, not, not me, in fact. It is my little monkey pad nurturing my mouse. Is that an artwork? 
Yes, I have installed a microscopic camera in my tongue to record the daily life of the monkey in my mouth as I also try to investigate the theme of Adamtopia. This private space in your mouth become a zoo, you know, to make my mouth join kind of social practice as well by putting a monkey inside. I transfer the private space to the public space as I use sociological methodology to analyze my mouth. And recently, I'm also researching the relational aesthetics. Oh, the monkey in your mouth seems not very happy about what you said. Uh, see, it writes some notes on your teeth, which is, I'm also nurture some zombies in my mouth, as that's where the saliva actually come from. Your saliva is dropping out of sand. Do not do that when we are curating. Sorry, not me. In fact, it's my little monkey pad nurturing my mouth. Is that a artwork? Oh, yeah, um, I have installed a microscopic camera in my tongue to record the daily life of the monkey in my mouth as I also try to investigate the scene of Adotopia. The private space in my mouth become a zoom you know, like to make my mouth space join the social practice as, uh, as well as by putting a monkey inside. Well, I transfer the private space at the same time to kind of public space as I use the sociologi sociological methodology to analyze my models. And recently, I'm also researching the relation and sex. Oh, that monkey in your mouth seems not very happy about what you said. See, it writes some notes on your teeth, which is, oh, I'm also nurturing some zombies in my mouth, as that's where the saliva actually come from. Part two, listen to our story from the past side and answer the question from five to eight. The short story will be repeated once more. I never know how much time I have spent in the darkness. To the moment I realized that I'm a parasite residing in a big slippery bowl. My life in the ball is really pleasurable to me that as that might be the only object to release my sexual energy by its constant movement. After a few years, all my mates are died around me and absorbed by a kind of white ball. I cannot understand my identity in Rancho to there was a day, some pinkish flakes falling from above. I then instinctively eat that, then I start to get knowledge of my surrounding. Later, I get to know that gift from the above is called intelligence. You ask me how do I know? Well, you ask me how do I know that? Uh, because we are besides, in fact, a, a eyeball inserted in a big O within a creature called human being. I once noticed there's a, a notion called art as what that being where I post it is always doing. I start to investigate the artistic action of that being as he always makes some big and solid stuff in different shapes I have never seen. I think whether I can start to do this as well as it would really fill my dark life with something to achieve with. I then attempt to collect those stuff around me like some floating green particles, some white crystal-like and other bunch of variegated things to merge them all together into a big one, floating within the eyeball. While later that big stuff has been swallowed by that white ball I have seen once, as later I got to know it is called the white blood cell. I then realized that I might be able to be a friend with that human being by communicating with him by this white blood cell, which could be his followers. Every time I was made this kind of a sculpture outcomes to feed that white cell, as it seems as a pathway to deliver my message to that bigger being. Whereas later there's still more and more white blood cells emerge and uh, I suddenly fell into a life crisis. Those white blood cells seem very hostile later, even want to eat me. 
I start to run away to a ridge, a glass like wall. I will never be able to escape. I will never be able to escape further. And never know such could be the response from that big creature before. Whether I succeed or not with this outcome of being eaten for the blood synthesis. Well, I don't know how much time I have spent in this darkness. The moment I realized that I'm a parasite residing in a big slippery bowl. My life in the bowl is really practical to me as it might be the only object to release my sexual energy by this, this constant movement. Well, after a few years, uh, all my mates are dying around me and absorbed by a kind of white ball. I cannot understand my identity in arrangement to there was a day some pinkish flakes spilling from above. And I instinctually eat that, then I start to get knowledge of my surrounding. Later I get to know that gift from above is called intelligence. You ask me how do I know that? Because where I reside is in fact an eyeball inserted in a big hole within a creature called human being. I once noticed there's a notion called art as what that being where I host it in is always doing. I start to investigate the artistic action of the being as he always makes some big and solid stuff in different shapes I have not seen. I think well I can start to do this as well. I mean, as it would really fill my top life with something to achieve with, right? I then attempt to collect those stars around me, like some floating green particles, some white crystal like, or other bunch of variegated things, to merge them all together in the end into a big mound floating within the eyeball. Well, later, that big star has been swallowed by that white ball I have seen once. As later, I got to know it is called the white blood cell. I then realized that uh, I might be able to be a friend with that big human being by communicating with him by this white blood cell, which could be his followers. Well, every time I always made this kind of a sculpture, I'll come to feed that white blood cell, as it seems as a pathway to deliver my message to that big being. Whereas later, there are more and more white blood cells emerging and, and suddenly fell into a life crisis. Those White blood cell seems very hostile. Later, you want to eat me. You know, I start to run away to reach a class like war. I, I will never be able to escape further and never know such could be a response from that bigger creature before. Whether I succeed or not with this outcome of being eaten with a bloody synthesis. Part three, lesson generative from a square and answer a question from 9 to The narrative will be repeated once more. It is hard to recognize my identity as objectively and a square. Few years ago, I have been recruited by the Cosmic Secret Intelligence Service and get a few missions to inspect, invigilate, or confidentially investigate the action of multitudes of human artists. I usually have to no clue what, what is the difference between them and those human beings who have always stared at me under my pink trunk. But you I have been doing this mission for a while, I just figure out that, that as how political the action could be by holding a lot of Pink branches you know, marking on my neighbor's tree trunks with some nasty words and still some accounts floating from our nest. I was stalking an artist into a site called Gallery. Saw my mate, obviously dead, made as a taxidermy, set into a miniature human domestic scene, somehow being static to hold a tiny gun toward itself. And then the artist explained that he cannot comment. He, he wants audience to speculate 
One squirrel is dead. Mental illness of suicide. Or I cannot comment on this too much as my reasoning will be recorded and sent to the agency afterward by that iron ring around my neck. During the recent pandemic situation, I have been stalking artists for 24 hours a day. And if there are any suspicious acts occurred, I will report to the agency immediately by the ring. Well, to be honest, I do not know how can I distinguish the suspicious act from the art act I have seen. I mean, whether those art acts are worthwhile to be reported. I have reported only three artists until now, as they are all later arrested by the gigantic aircraft sent from my agency. I start to question myself then whether those acts I'm doing can be counted as art and whether some whether someone is stalking at me as well. I'm fed up with this now and I'm going to apply for in retirement and use my labor on the right place. Maybe art making as I have been observing this behavior for a while. I also want to write down my experience of being a spy to talk with other squirrel artists. Maybe I can review my tree trunk as a gallery space and call my mates to submit some artworks they did. The usage of the accounts, nuts, and the like is very important as the kind of culture specified uh, signature about my being of a square. And I also want to uh, argue that about a kind of a shared link space with the human being alongside with our involvement of the shared memory of the world. It's hard to recognize my identity. As objectively, I'm a squirrel. Few years ago, I have been recruited by the Cosmic in Secret Intelligence Service and I got a few missions to inspect, invigilate, or confidentially investigate the action of multitudes of human artists. Well, I initially have no clue what is the difference be between them and those human beings who have always stared at me under my free funk. I have been doing this mission for a while. I just figured out that how political the action should, could be by holding a lot of pink branches, the uh, marking on my neighbor's tree trunks with some nasty words and still some accounts filling from my nest. I once stalk an artist into a side called gallery. Saw my mate, obviously dead made as a taxidermy step into a miniature human domestic scene. The artist later explained, like he want audience to speculate why the squirrel is dead. Mental illness or suicide. I cannot comment on this too much as my reasoning will be recorded and sent it to the agency afterward by the iron ring on my neck. During the recent pandemic situation, I have been stalking artists for 24 hours a day, and if there are any suspicious acts occurred, I will report to the agency immediately by the ring. But to be honest, I do not know how can I distinguish the suspicious act from art acts I have ever seen, whether those art acts are worthwhile to be reported. I have reported on these three artists to others. They are all, all later arrested by the gigantic aircraft sent by my agency. I start to question myself and then whether those acts I'm doing can be counted as art and whether someone is stalking at me as well. I'm fed up with this. Now, you know, I'm, I'm going to apply for retirement and use my labor on the right place. Maybe our making us I have been observing such act for quite a long time. Well, I also need, you know, I mean, I also want to write down my experience of being a spy and talk with other square artists. Maybe I can rebuild my tree trunk as a kind of gallery space and I call my mates to submit some artworks they did. The usage of the accounts, nuts, and the like is very important as a kind of cultural specified signature about my being of a squirrel. 
And I also want to argue about a kind of shared living space with human beings alongside with our involvement of the shared memory of the world. The audio for the listening task is ended now. Please continue to accomplish the rest of the task.
30 minutes left. Please pay attention about your act, Spencer. Otherwise, I'll be seen as cheating.
Fourteen minutes left. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, Spencer. Could I get the charger for the laptop, please? No problem, but you have to come back in one minute. Thirty seconds left for Spencer. Fifteen minutes left.
Ten minutes left. Yes, Spencer. I'm done. You mean you're done? So you want to handle your answer sheet now to me? Yes. Okay, no problem. Please start to photograph your answer sheet, Spencer, and send it to me. You finished, Spencer. Yep. Now you can leave the examination room if you want. If you have finished your task, you can start to review. Five minutes left.
Two minutes left. Time's up. Please stop your writing immediately. Please start to photograph your answer sheet and send it to me. Before we leave the examination room. Now, here in. Let me confer any a certificate of merit. Congratulations, Annie, who has attained the highest score at the ninth grade simulated exam five for contemporary art. In recognition of your effort. Proudly presenting this certificate to you. Thank you. Now we can leave the examination room.